Introducing the Microsoft Access Search Seminar brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. This nine and a half hour seminar will teach you just about everything there is to know about searching and sorting in Microsoft Access databases. This video will explain the concepts taught in the search seminar by walking you through the sample database we build in the class. You can download a free copy of this database and get more information on this seminar by visiting accesslearningzone.com or going to this special link, 599cd.com slash XACS. There you'll find links for the sample free database, more free videos, the full course outline, and lots more information. You'll learn how to perform simple searches and sorts, understand complex query parameters, a basic knowledge of SQL, and dynamic form searching with Visual Basic. We'll start out by covering basic find and replace operations. You'll learn how to apply simple filters and sorts. And then you'll see how to work with a parameter query to prompt the user for some input. You'll learn about form field parameters, which is setting a value on a form and then using that as a criteria instead of a pop-up prompt. For example, search for all customers from New York and then hit the show customers by state button. And there they are. You'll also learn about wildcard searches. For example, show me all customers with states beginning with the letter N. And a very difficult concept for some developers, learning how to show blank records or null values. We'll go into some pretty complex query criteria to see how to get that to work. We'll make some simple search combo boxes where you can search for a customer and it will jump right to his or her record. We'll also make some single field search buttons where you can search just on that field. For example, last name, company name, address, or whichever field you like. I'll click on the search button for last name, type in what I'm looking for, hit OK, and access takes me right to that record. To search for the next one, just hit the next button. We'll create a form to search for customers based on their first name, last name, city or state. We can enter in one parameter, such as show me all customers from New York. Or we can have multiple parameters, show me Houston or New York, and there's both. And of course we can easily change this to an AND condition. And now I see nobody, because there is no Houston, New York in my database. Next, we'll build a very similar form, but instead of applying filters, we'll write custom SQL statements. I can enter in my criteria here, apply a filter. That then changes the SQL in the form to display a different set of records. I can have multiple criteria with an and or or condition. I can apply a sort based on multiple fields, for example, sort by first name. I can change from an ascending to a descending sort by clicking on this toggle button. Using a triple state checkbox, I can determine whether or not I want to see blank or null values. I can allow them, disallow them, or show both. We'll make a simple quick search form that has multiple fields on it. This form is designed for the novice user who doesn't know a lot about access. He or she can come in here, type in any field they want to search for. Let's say city, I'll type in Amherst, A-M-H, and then hit the search button. The customer form then loads up, showing the customers from Amherst. If I have customers that I work with on a regular basis, I can add them to this recent customers list. For advanced users, there's a button here that opens up an extra side to the search form that has some advanced options. For example, I can sort my list of recent customers by the last time they were accessed or by the number of times accessed. Next, we'll build a form that can search inside of multiple tables. If you're looking for people, and you don't know whether those people are customers, vendors, or employees, you can use this form to search inside of all three tables. For example, 
to find all people from New York, I'll just type in New York in the state field, hit search, and there are all the people from my employee, vendor, and customer tables that are from New York. I can select which tables to search from. And once I double click on one of these records, it opens up the appropriate form, whether the vendor form, the employee form, or the customer form. And there's the customer record. We'll build a product search form that will allow us to search for products by vendor, product code, product ID. We'll learn how to search for products between a range of costs or a range of dates updated. For example, show me all the parts in my database that cost between $10 and $1,000. Search. And there's my list of items. I can narrow that down by vendor if I want to. I'll see a count of the number of products returned, the minimum and maximum values, the number of customers that have purchased the current selected product, the notes for that product over here. I can double click on a product to open up the product form, or I can double click on the number of customers to get a list of all the customers who have purchased that product. And there's the one customer who purchased that product. This, of course, could be used to feed a marketing report or an email list. Next, we'll build a form for natural language searching. For this example, I've loaded up the database with some sample course outlines from my lessons. The search form will search either the description of the course or the title of the course itself. Using one search phrase here, I can look for a course I can look for a keyword inside of that course. I can search for an exact phrase inside of quotes. I can use negative keywords. And of course, notice as I'm typing, the search results are updated automatically with each keystroke. I can then use these search results to print a custom report. And there's my report. So if you want to learn how to search, sort, filter, write custom SQL, or use VBA to search inside your Access databases, the Access Search Seminar is for you. There's something in this seminar for developers of all skill levels. To find out more information about this seminar, visit accesslearningzone.com or come to 599cd.com slash XACS.